Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So in managerial accounting or management accounting, we are discussing standard costing and variance analysis. In this, uh, we are deeply discussing about material variances. Material variances total 5 are there. Out of 5 first 3, we have discussed related to the first 3, we will work out another problem, important problem examination point of view. Before going to the problem, let me tell you all, please check out the playlist, many subjects already are prepared, check out the playlist, use it and don't forget to forward these videos, it is my request. Now coming to the second problem, if you have followed the previous class, this problem is simple, nothing to worry. After explanation, you can pause the video and you can work out by yourself, so that you will gain the confidence. Just I will explain it. One more important thing I must tell you, whenever you see any problem, do not worry. You know everything. You know the formula, you know the methodology, but do not worry about what it is, how, you, how I have to work out, all these tensions leave it and then simply focus on the problem, slowly, coolly read it, right. Now today's problem is also like this only. We are going to work out material cost various, material price various, material Another one is material, uh, what is that? Usage, usage various, three related to this. Formulas, you know it, okay? Now the problem is given to us, calculate material cost variance, material price variance, material usage variance. What is given? Everything is given in table, need not to worry. Products are given, but in the previous problem, we have done simply to one organization or to one product, but now here three different products are there for product A, product B, product C. If you see product A, standard quantity is 1050, standard price is 2 rupees, actual quantity 1100 and actual price is 2.25 rupees, like this, okay. So this is for product A, product B, product C. What we have to find out? Material cost, material variance, material usage, these three, formulas you know it. Pause the video, start working out. Okay, now check your answers. Calculations only, that is why I have already prepared it. Easy to explain you without wasting your time. Now, when you have this products A, B, C, separately you have to calculate. What I have done, material cost variance, separately I have taken. You have to write it in the exam, full form material cost variance is equal to formula also, you have to write this formula. SP into SQ minus, uh, next one is AP minus AQ, formula you have to write, okay. Then after that this step comes, what is that? You know that SP into SQ, SP into SQ, SP into SQ, SP is 2 rupees 1050, 2 rupees 1050 minus AP into AQ, okay, 2.25 into 1000. So, if you do the calculations, you got it 375. So, 2100, 2475, okay. If you do the calculations, means uh, if you see min minus value I am getting, 375 is minus value. Minus means unfavorable. I have written un unfavorable, right. In the same way for B, B is also getting 25. 25 is also unfavorable because 4900 is here and 4800. 75 difference is unfavorable. In the same way for product C, so this is 730, uh, 7350 and 7500, this is also one favorable 150. This is about material cost variance. In the same way next material price variance, material price variance formula is you know, actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. Now. Uh, material price variance, I have written A, B, C, actual quantity, actual quantity is 1100, 1400, 2000, 1100, 1400, 2000 into SP minus AP, SP is here, 2, 3 rupees 25 and 3 rupees, 2, 3 rupees 25 and 3 rupees 50 paisa, SP minus AP, AP is here, 225, 350, 375, 225, 350, 375, we have put it in the formula. Now if you see the answer, 275 unfavorable for A product, three, for B product also 350 unfavorable, C product also 500 unfavorable over 
Now material usage variance. Material usage variance formula is SP into SQ minus AQ. SP. 2 rupees, 3 rupees 25, 3 rupees 50. 2 rupees, 3 rupees 25 and 3 rupees 50 into SQ. SQ is here 1050, 1500, 2400. 1050, 1500, 2100. Minus AQ. AQ is 1100, 1400, 2000. 1100, 1400, 2000. <coughs> if we have done the calculations, getting answer of 100 unfavorable. But for product B and C, 325, 350, these two are favorable. These two are favorable, rest of everything is unfavorable only. Now what we have done this, is it correct or not? How do we verify it? There is a formula, I already told you. Material cost variance equal to material price variance plus material usage variance, right? So the same formula, verification. And if you see the verification, MCV, MCV is 375 unfavorable, minus 375. MPV, MPV is 275, this is unfavorable and MUV, 100 is, 100 is also unfavorable, so minus 100. But as per the formula, MCV is equal to MPV plus MUV, MPV plus MUV, both are minus minus, minus minus comes to minus only, but sign will be 375. So minus minus comes to plus, so 275 plus 100 minus 375, this is all, here also 375 means tallying na both the sides, tallying means problem is correct, that is it, simple. So hope you got a clarity, take a screenshot or note down. By the way, <clears throat> how many of you have done this problem without looking at the solution and got the same answer? Sincerely tell me, write it in the comment box. I just want to check how many of you are seriously following this channel. Blindly writing, following, no, this I don't want. You need to be serious, right? So in the coming class, <clears throat> the rest of the two ratios we'll see. We have seen only three only, material related variances, material cost, material price, material usage. Coming class, we'll see material mix and material yield. These two ratios, if you complete, material variance is over. So. Stay connected, check out the playlist, use it and forward these videos. Have a bright career, good luck.